Good morning, Patriots. Welcome back to Rex Pines TV. I'm Elias Santiago. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Wednesday, February 21st, 2024. Now let's go to Kalia for today's Black History Spotlight. Thank you, Aliyah. Hi, Patriots. And today in Black History, we showcase Zora Neale Hurston, an African-American author and filmmaker born on 1891 in Nostalgia, Alabama. She has inspired many with her book called Their Eyes Were Watching God that was published in 1937. This is a book about the coming of age story of Janie Crawford, an African American woman growing up in Eatonville, Florida. This book was considered a classic in the Harlem Renaissance and shows a romance journey through the eyes of an African American woman. A perspective she shared with others through her own experience. Let's go to Samara for lunch. Thank you, Kalia. Today's lunch is spaghetti with Italian meat sauce, seasoned breadstick, turkey cheese wrap, seasoned Italian veggies, fresh broccoli, ranch dressing, garden side salad, pineapple tidbits, and your choice of milk. Tomorrow's breakfast is apple frutal, raisin bran, graham crackers, fresh apple, and 100% orange juice. Students, please keep in mind the lunch menu can change at any time. It will always be a lunch card. And don't forget to form your teachers if you'll be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit, let's go back to Elia. Thank you, Samara, that sounds great. Tomorrow, 7th and 8th graders will have their chance to go to the Patriot store. The store is open from 7.15 to 7.55 a.m. Make sure to come on time. Patriots, keep your phone shut down and in your backpacks at all times and there is no chewing gum in school. Please spit it out before entering the building. Tomorrow is the end of our door contest. I can't wait to see them all. Also, tomorrow is the day to vote. So make sure to vote for the one you think should win. Also, great job to all of you teachers. K through fifth reward will be a glow in the dark party, and sixth through eighth will be enjoying some fries and wings. Well, that will happen once you complete your instructional software. The challenge will end on March fifteenth. I wish you all the best of luck. Our first sports tryouts will be for girls flag football. The tryouts will be next Monday, and the second sports tryouts will be for boys baseball. Remember, in order to try out, you both need a completed sports physical and a three point oh GPA. The trials will be on the 12th of March. I wish you all the best of luck. Today, our boys basketball team had a game against Jewish Academy. The game will start at 3.30. Tomorrow, our boys basketball team has another game and it will be against Aces. The game will start at 4 p.m. Let's wish them luck. Now let's go to Camila for today's weather. Thank you, Eli. What's up, Patriots? Today's weather is sunny one degrees Fahrenheit with sunny skies. It's a good day to take a trip to the park. Another weather news. NASA released footage of a partial solar eclipse on the surface of Mars. You can see the dark shadow passing by the sun and you might ask yourself what it is and to answer your question, this is the dark shadow called Phobos. One of Mars' two moons. NASA has also spoken out and said that this video is one of the highest quality Phobos solar eclipses ever taken on Mars. I'd love to see this firsthand. Now let's wish our patients happy birthday with Hadassah. Thank you Camilo. Today's birthday boys and girls are Zoe Ottage, Isabella Tejada, Everson Bueno Roman, Jeremiah Nicholas, and Malik Nicholas. Happy birthday! Now let's go back to Elia. Thank you, Hadassah. Patriots here, your past expectations. It represents present yourself positively, act kind towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Ms. Valdez, Ms. Danqua, and Ms. Arnold for getting the correct answer to yesterday's daily challenge, which was what goes up and down but doesn't move. The correct answer was a staircase. And today's daily challenge is. Daily Challenge! Find the missing parts for each building. Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 9 a.m. in order for your answers to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcements. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a wishful Wednesday. Have an amazing day!